Why are you crying? My mommy, she won't wake up! Huh? <laughs> she will wake up very soon. Don't cry. Be patient. Yes. Quickly. Yes. Bring it here. Huh? Interfere with us? Thank you for saving my life. Uh, tell me, why did you come to this place? Uh, I am looking for Abbot Lokyun. Oh, you have found him. Uh, I am Tang Shui Sheng, wife of Shek Shui Sheng, the son of Master Shek. You know him? Oh, uh, get up, get up. Uh, come on. And you, child. Sheng Cheng, what has happened to him? He's been killed. He gave his life. 
that I will smell him. Ah, his name be praised. You must tell me all about it. There was this local ruffian, bad man, Wu Yao Tao. He lives in the northeast. Why did he go to Tai Kong? Well, carry on with your story. Wu Yao Tao is a dirty crook, a thief, and a murderer. Brother Wu, welcome back to Tai Kong, and congratulations on your Gong Fu. <laughs> Thank you very much. Really, it's nothing at all. Oh, you've improved greatly. Please, oh, after you. Brother, this style of Kung Fu is most hard. The first stage is using the legs. The art is to control the kick, but make it fast and it's deadly accurate, except for me. Brother, you'll be the only one who's an expert at it. <laughs> I'm glad, thank you for the lesson. What I'd like to know from you is whether my Kung Fu is the correct style I'd like to practice. Of course, I won't use my force, just the movements. Shall we give it a try? <laughs> Brother, I'm ready and most grateful. Challenge me now. <laughs> Mr. Du, eh? the Northerners want us to buy up more copper. You are aware it's for the military. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard to get. We must be careful of Shang Cheng. The last couple of times he's objected to our trading with the North and managed to spoil our plans. Hmm. The man is an imbecile. The Northerners will send someone to help, but we can't afford to fail because of one man. What do you suggest? The only place to buy copper around here is through Pack. He's the sole agency. But if we took it over, we could sell the North as much copper as they want. Hmm. <laughs> any problems? Uh, I don't think there'll be any problem. If I take Chu and Lee along with me, Pack will see sense. Good. Get on with it. Yeah. Uh, Here, watch out. Put him down. Uh, 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 I do. I do. You'll be all right. Come on, move him. Bring a bandage. Okay. You think he's all right? Don't worry. I can fix him. Here. Hmm. Uh. I'll be back. I have something I want to talk with you. Please come in. Sit down. Uh. Now, uh, Pack, you're agitated. Is there anything wrong? Uh, Give it uh, to you. Please. Please. Uh. Please. Uh. 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 Uh.
I hope you won't do anything you'll regret later. Uh, Master Du, you can explain my situation to Mr. Wu, can't you? Mr. Chen, you're going to be sorry. Uh, Mr. Du, you have anything more to say? Oh, no. Nice to meet you. I didn't know you were in the copper wholesale business, too. Pack is a relative of mine. Hmm. I've come round to see him. Oh. Hey, what did he have to say? Uh, if Mr. Chan wishes to be stubborn, there's nothing I can do. Uh, I'll just leave you to it. I have to go now. Please. Come on. Brother, Du is very angry. I'm afraid. That kind of person is our enemy. We can't just stand by, we have to stop them. Right. Let's go where we can talk quietly. Come on. Hmm. Mr. Hey. Hope, please. Please. <laughs> please. 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 Sit down. Uh, thank you. Uh, it is a long journey from the north. Uh, <laughs> Serve tea. <laughs> Mr. Hong, have some tea. Oh. Mr. Hung, what orders do you have for me? Do you have all the merchandise ready for us? Uh, it's not yet complete. Soon will be. Hmm. Are you running into any problems? Uh, a man, Shek Chang Ching, has given us some trouble. What are you waiting for? Why not get rid of the man? He's a fighter. He knows Kung Fu. And he's popular. So that, uh... If that's the case, then. What am I to say in my report? Oh. Uh, I've got an idea. Huh? Why don't we just kill him and then burn down his house? <laughs> <laughs> right. Get on with it. <laughs> Mr. Do, smart thinking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> stood a chance. That night I took Xiao Ching and ran away. I didn't stop till I reached here. Ah, Buddha's name be praised. Bless you. Bless you. 
Abbott. You must stop Wu from doing this. He's a terrible man. That's up to Buddha. Where are you two going to live in the meanwhile? I would like to live here if I may. I ask you to take my son as one of your students. All right, yes, of course, of course. It's agreed he's now one of my students. Uh, thank you. Uh, here, my uh, son, down on your knees. Thank the master. Oh, very good. Oh, now get up, get up. <laughs> get up. <laughs> there you are, child. <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> Begin at the beginning, with your breathing. First, unleash the power. If you master that, you can practice Iron Head. Fetch the rope. Yes. Hmm. When I became a monk, they tied a rope around my head. At first, I can assure you it was very painful, but I withstood it. Brother, wasn't that different? This is meant to be practice. It's vital the head is strong. It's your weak point. If your head can withstand an attack, then in turn you can use it as a weapon, like a steel club. Brother, all I do is jump up and down. What's the point? <sighs> Jumping skill. How can it? To improve my jumping, I need to tie weights round my feet. There are many ways of learning it. The method I am teaching you is just one of them. If you're able to straighten your knees and perch on your toes, then you will get a much greater lift off. From now on, walking or standing, stay on your toes. But I'll be tired after a short while. Nonsense. Uh, From now on, you are only to use your toes. How about when I relieve myself? <sighs> the abbot asked me to teach you Kung Fu. But I'm not sure you want to learn. Brother, I do want to learn. <sighs> the first thing to learn is to have some patience. What if I run out of it? That's too bad. I won't teach you anymore. I want you to teach me. Just one inch down and across is the center of your heart. If you strike this spot at high noon, your opponent will be paralyzed. much to learn. Attack! Brother! <laughs> if you're to harness the power, you must know both inside and outside. First you will learn the outside. And that is what the abbot has ordered me to do. This rope is for you to tie around your head until it is tight. Yes. So you have to tie your wrists together so that both hands become like one and the power becomes the same in both hands. And that way you will learn Iron Hand. The next monk's waiting for you at the cliff. Right. Off you go.
¿Sí? Brother, I cook you meals. In Shaolin, even a cook knows Kung Fu. Here, let me teach you my special technique. You could find it useful. Brother, I don't want you to joke with me. I'm not joking. Come on, I'll teach you. Take that down. Oh. Come here. Huh? Watch carefully. Brother. Morning. Brother, I sweep the floor, but wouldn't you like to know how that'll help you Kung Fu? I'd like to learn secret Kung Fu. Right. I'd like to learn the Shaolin style. Come here. Follow what I do. Oh. Concentrate the power in your arms, both oh. of them. Then you can move great boulders. Here. Like this. Oh. Hey, watch this. Brother, it belongs oh. to you. Oh. Oh. Your mother made it for you. Oh. oh, brother, what do you say? Mother's alive? Uh, uh, I shouldn't say. I shouldn't have mentioned it. Damn it. I'm fired now. For all these years, I'll never stop thinking about it. Brother, I'm begging you. Tell me the truth. I must know. Tell me where I can find her. All right. Get up. Brother, easy now. I've kept quiet about your mother for 15 years. But the time has now come. And these clothes, did my mother really make them? Yes. All the clothes on your back were made by her. She devoted her whole life to seeing you well. Out lately, she's been sick. My mother's ill? Uh, I shouldn't be telling you. But can't hide it from you now. Just last week, your mother came down with pneumonia. Madame Wong's been taking care of her, but she should be better now. Thank you, brother. Mercy. Zhao Jing. Where have you been? Why are you so late? Uh, Master, I want to see my mother. They tell me she's ill. Who told you she was ill? Third brother. Oh, Wei Lan. He's such an idiot. Zhao Jing, you won't concentrate while thinking of her. But if you seriously do want to leave, there's one thing I should remind you about. And that is, you have to first defeat the Four Guardians. That is one of our Shaolin regulations. And who are the Four Guardians? You will know them. You've met them all before. I still wish to try. 
Buddha's name be praised. Go back, or stand and fight. Brother, my mother's very ill. Your sword. Ready? Dragon's <laughs> turn! Here I come! Brother, you must let me pass. And stand and fight. His name be praised. Thank you, brother. Stand and fight. All right. Thank you, brother. Buddha's name be praised. forget it is dangerous to attack in the dark unless you rely on your hearing remember the lessons I taught you brother stand and fight we'll now find out how much you really learned 
when I have tested your gung fu, I will then decide whether you are really fit enough to leave us. You have been learning well. Thanks to you, brother. But if you're really good, you don't need a weapon. <laughs> What are you doing there? I don't think you've quite learned enough, brother. Huh. Dragon style! You are improving. I'll give you that, young man, but if you want to beat me, you'll have to be better, not worse. Come on! Uh, dragon style! Dragon fighting! Dragon striking! Dragon attacks! A dragon ought to move faster than that. Not bad. What Kung Fu's that? It's the sword star. Huh? Where's your sword? Brother, just imagine I've got one. Brother, why aren't you moving? Why should I if you haven't got a sword? You'd better return to Shaolin. The abbot gave me permission to go. So do me a favor. Do you a favor? Hmm. But why should I? You haven't done well enough. Oh. Hey. Ah! Ah! Hey! Brother, you know what the time is? Uh -uh. Hey! Oh! <laughs> to the right, to the left. I may not have a sword, but I can use this. A special technique you taught me, and it works. Brother, thank you. Wait! The sunshine is straight in my eyes! Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> there, that should keep the sun off you, huh? Wait! 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 Uh, goodbye. Wait! Wait! You pretended you weren't really hurt. You let him pass. Now I'll have to test him for myself. Yes, Master. Excuse me, can you tell me where Mrs. Wang lives? Hmm. Why do you want her? I'm Mrs. Wong. Oh, madam, please take me to see my mother. Who are you? I'm Shek Shao Cheng. I'm looking for my mother. Oh, you must have just come up from Shaolin. Yeah. Here, quickly, follow me. Come on. Oh. Granny. Uh -huh. Madam, someone to see you. Oh, who is it? Madam, Shao Qing is here. Oh, it's you. Ma. Oh, my son. It's me, Shao Qing. Oh. Oh. Ma. Oh. It's been 15 years. Madam, Shao Cheng must be hungry. 
Why don't you get him something to eat? I've just cooked some noodles. Ah, oh, I'll go and get them. Huh. Oh, thank you. Would you like to have some? You go ahead. I have some chores to do. Oh. <laughs> Here. How did you go at Shaolin? I learned a great deal. Uh, but why did you leave Shaolin? I passed the Four Guardians. The Four Guardians? Yeah. Master, please forgive me for leaving the monastery. Zhao Jing, I found out the Guardians let you leave deliberately, so I've come here to provide you with two pills, which may help you in future. Oh, thank you, Master. Our orders are to keep watching anybody that's leaving from Shaolin. Those monks can't resist getting in trouble the whole time. Hmm. But they're so difficult to deal with. Uh, there's a hill above Shaolin. We could conceal ourselves in some trees there and look over the walls into the temple. Hmm. Good. A good idea. Get on with it. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, no. oh, no. You are not dead! I will go! You want to be hanged by the neck! Bastards! Bastards! You were given three days to get out. You were warned what would happen to you. I will go! I was born here! And I intend to die here! For the last time, move out! I refuse! <laughs> I'm not bluffing, you know. If you refuse to go, I am warning you, it will go very hard for you. Peter! <laughs> 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 A warning to all who resist us. I'll be back. Come on. Oh, I murdered her. Ma, what on earth has happened here? Xiao Qing. It was Wu's people. They killed Mrs. Wong. Huh? <laughs> I'll make them pay for that. You know where they are? They just left. <laughs> Xiao Qing, come back here. Ma, I can't take this anymore. Xiao Qing, you must take it. You can't kill everybody. Meanwhile, Wu still commits his crimes. What a bastard he is. Xiao Qing. We have to get rid of him. He's evil. But now just isn't the right moment yet. You have to wait. I'm going to see Mrs. Wong, Barrett. You better pack up your things and get out of here. Right, yes. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll move right away. Ma, where do you think we should go to? Your uncle is opening a restaurant in Lokyun. We'll go and visit him and stay with him for a while. We don't have much choice. All right. Who is outside? Su Yik, mm -hmm. go and have a look. If it's a customer, tell them that we're closed up for today, but come back tomorrow. Yes. Mr. Chan, someone to see you. Uh, it's very late. Who is it? <laughs> Park Ching. It's me. Huh? Uh, it's you. Uh, 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 uh. Xiao Park! Xiao Park, come here quickly. Coming! What is it? 
Do you see who's here? Sister. 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 Oh. Oh. Xiao uh, Ching, say hello to your uncle and aunt. Auntie, uncle. Uh, it's been 15 years now. Haven't you grown? Hello. She, uh, oh. She's the granddaughter of Mrs. Wong. Her family were all killed. Oh. Oh. She can stay here with us. I'll take care of her. <laughs> Xiao Yik, come here. <laughs> This is your cousin. How are you? Hello. <laughs> uh. Xiao Pak. Uh, they must be feeling tired. Why not show them where they can rest? Uh, quickly, <laughs> come on. Let's go. Come on. Uh. Oh, aren't that nice? All right. Go and catch up on your sleep now. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, Show Ching. Aren't you tired carrying that thing around? Oh, Uncle, it's all right. No, some customers. Oh, quickly. Right. <laughs> ah, Mr. Chan. Long time no see. How have you been keeping? A Jew. Mr. Du. Yes, it's me. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Mr. Wu's son, who's been wanting to meet you. Wu Pak, look, this is Chan Pak Chang. <laughs> He's been an old friend of mine for years now, mm -hmm. isn't that right? <laughs> Hello, I hope you enjoy your meal here. Oh, sure, go on with your work. This restaurant's doing good business. Whereas she must admit ours is doing badly. Mr. Du, I would like to think of a way to get our restaurant to do more business. Uh, it's not so easy. Uh, 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 Mr. Wu, uh, I think I know. Mm -hmm. Good idea. <laughs> get on with it then. I'll leave everything to you. All right. for a meal. Excuse me, but would you move to one side? Reverend, you're in the way. The customers can't get in here. You're preventing me from doing my business, please. Yeah. 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 
Sir, I'll be back. Why did the monk disappear? Guess he called it quits. Or maybe he's hungry. Let's fix the food. Oh. I am very grateful to dear Lord Buddha. We can start doing business as usual. <laughs> right. You bastard, you defeated me yesterday. But today I'm gonna make you pay. You'll be sorry. You just aren't good enough, are you? What are you gonna do? <laughs> ah! and restaurant isn't doing too well recently. They'll have to close up soon. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wu, you have a clever son. <laughs> Master, the monk's been killed. Oh. Huh? That monk was a top-class fighter. That means the man who killed him that's very good indeed. We must find a way. What do you think, Mr. Hung? There's a Korean fighter, Pop Tai Fu. He's very strong and good at karate. We might persuade him to come here and get rid of our enemies. If he makes a challenge, maybe it'll force the men who killed the monk to show their hands. Oh, that's good. That really is so simple, but it makes a lot of sense. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Du, why not send a message to Mr. Park right away? All right, I'll do that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's go there and have a look. Okay. Leap you. What's wrong with young master? Nothing. He's just looking at the girl. <laughs> Do you know that girl over there? Go ask her yourself. I'm Wu Pak Lu, age 24. I'm still single. And God willing, I'll have a good wife. <laughs> 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 
Oh. With God's blessing. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> Stop that. Hold it. Hey, 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 you don't run. you cousin why were they fighting among themselves maybe they've been drinking <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to have as guest fighter Pok Tai Fu. <laughs> now he'll meet any challenger. All you local Kung Fu fighters, according to our rules, who is ever is capable of kicking him out of the ring, he'll be suitably rewarded with $5,000. <laughs> but make sure you're fit enough because we aren't insured if you happen to be injured. So is anybody daring enough to fight? <laughs> Let me try. Thank <laughs> you. 
Meister? Ja, Nerdel. Put it over there. Oh. Dad, huh? eat it while it's hot. Uh, I'm not hungry. Where's the Anne? Huh? Will that be all? Uh, the boxing ring is no place for a fair fight. Is he really as good as they say? He is good. Who else is there who could take him on here? Huh? Uh, oh. Stop me! What the... Come on! What happened? Give a hand. Oh. What is the Korean doing? They're setting up a boxing car. Oh! It is a bait, Master. You will all get killed. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Pack's doing well. Yeah. He's still undefeated. Ah, Mr. Pack, you have done well. Congratulations. <laughs> Come on, let's raise our glasses. <laughs> 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 Mr. Pack is truly a champion. <laughs> <laughs> you flatter me. I owe it to your support. <laughs> but tomorrow, I'll have a fight which will impress you more. <laughs> now, come on. Raise your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> come on. There's only one hour to go to win the championship. A wage of five dollars. But no one seems to want it. <laughs> what a pity. <laughs> Bob Typho, I'm man enough to take you on. Ah, oh, last I got a match. <laughs> Welcome. You ready? Let's begin. Hello, Mr. Pop. Oh, man. What are you doing here? Oh, oh, I've come to fight. I uh -huh. want the $5,000 prize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Go back to your daydreaming. Why, you still can't. You'll only get hurt. <laughs> oh, I came here to fight. I'm ready. Are you? Uh -huh. Very well, then. You've asked for it, you old fool. Are you ready? I, I... <sighs> Oh. Uh, mister, does that count as a blow or not? No, again. Come on. Uh, all right. Uh, mister. If you don't mind, I'm not ready yet. So don't be in a hurry to get rid of me yet. All right. We gotta move on. All right. I'm ready now. Huh. Huh. I'm ready. Come on. Huh. Hey!
Hok Tai Fu and the monk were both killed in the same way. What kind of Kung Fu style was used? You better check into the old man's background. Best be careful. Hmm. Uh, Master, we got one lead. Really? On Pak Tai Fu and the monk's chest was a big palm print. I remember a while back, the young master got into a quarrel with a young man who pushed him. Blow was so strong, young master fell. Oh, anything else? Tell me. The bruise looked just the same. Big palm print on the chest. You know what the young man does? He works at Pak Yin restaurant. Think he's related, works as a waiter. Right. He must have trained hard carrying that kettle. That's why just one blow is strong enough. Hmm. Who owns that restaurant? A Chen Pak Cheng. Chen Pak Cheng? And who is Chen Pak Cheng? Uh, I think he's the same old man who used to run the copper agency. Do you think the young man is the son of Shek Sheng Ching? Uh, it's possible he disappeared, but I did hear they sent him to Shaolin. Hmm. Shek Sheng Ching and Chen Pak Cheng are related. And his son works at the restaurant. Is that possible? Check out where Chen is staying. We must act now. Mm. Get rid of them. I wouldn't mind owning that restaurant. Mm. Mr. Du, it's very late. Uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Wu wants to buy your restaurant. Huh? What did you say? I have the contract ready to sign. I'll just put your name here. Uh, anything wrong? Uh, I never said I was going to sell. Oh. Uh, 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 the restaurant all your life. Uh, let's talk it over. Uh, we can discuss it. Yeah, uh, you better sign now. Sign. Uh. Sign. Uh. Now tell your staff who the new boss is. Uh. My friends, I've just handed the restaurant to Mr. Wu. He's in charge here now. I'm sorry, but you'll have to obey his orders now. Go! Oh. See that he gets well taken care of? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're going nowhere. You killed my husband and burned down my house, and still you are persecuting us. Hmm. You're Shaq's wife, aren't you? You deliberately sent your son against us in the contest. By the way, we'd like to see him now. I won't tell. Go! <laughs>
all going nowhere. Master, young master is just being killed by that man. Huh? My son is dead. Huh? Carry his body back. Right. I'll cut you up into pieces and feed you to the sharks. So it's you, you bastard. If you've come here to work, the kettle's over there. I've come here to settle up my account. Oh, have you gone crazy? All because of you, you dogs. God damn it, you insult me. Now, tell me, where is Mr. Chan? Why don't you ask Mr. Du? <laughs> uh, Mr. Du, where is Mr. Chan? <laughs> He's not been around here for days now. Where's the bus then? Uh, uh, Mr. Wu, Wu Yan Tao, oh, I don't know. Where can I find him? Uh, uh, back at Kai Fung. Uh, this is all you're doing. You're responsible for all the deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Ah! Hey! 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 Hey!
spot a guy from now. Excuse me, you know where Mr. Wu lives? Hmm. Ah, take the road straight ahead. You'll see a house with a pond outside the front gate. Oh, thank you. Okay. Mr. Tu at Lock Young sent me with a message from Mr. Wu. All right, wait here. Master, Mr. Tu sent this for you. On the table. Sit. Open it up. Huh? Where's the man who brought it? Still outside. Bring him in. Sit. Come in. Huh. I've been looking for you, but you've saved me that trouble. Right. I've come here to settle the score. Get him. Come on.
Quick, Will's getting away.
就是纵横天下的大孝将军李孝。嗯，拔出你的剑。我为什么要拔剑？因为，我这次约你来，就是要看看你的武功，真像传说中的那么高吗？夫人万寿无疆，就是来多喝几杯啊！好，谢谢啊！敬您敬您来来来，我敬您敬您，谢谢谢谢，干杯干杯干杯干杯！太夫人寿比南山，谢谢你啊，婷婷啊，你替我好好的照顾李相公啊。是奶奶。好，太夫人不必客气了，在下还有点事，想告退一会儿。你要到哪儿呢？我要去找我的朋友肖俊。
，我的名字叫晴晴。刚才如果不是你，我非死不可。救命之恩，我虽然不敢言谢，但是我却不知道该怎么样来报答你。好、哦，那只不过是件小事，怎么能够谈上救命之恩呢？在你来说是一件小事，可是在我来说呢，却是一件天大的事情。你如果……不让我报答你，那我我就一条路好走，就是死在你面前。嗯，你想怎么报答我呢？随便你要我怎么样来报答你，我都答应。你如果真的想报答我，就给我点银子吧。你要银子？我是个穷人，什么都不缺，就只缺点银子。何况，如果真的想报答一个人，除了给点银子之外，还有什么更好的法子呢？今天晚上三更，我会把银子送到这里来给你。那个小姑娘好像是在勾引你，你是真的不知道？哦，假的，假的。我只不过不喜欢女人勾引我，我喜欢勾引女人。那么，你为什么不勾引我呢？哦，嗯，你怎么知道我不勾引你呢？你若是想真的打我，出手就应该再快一点。呆子，难道你还看不出来啊？这是我故意让你抓着的。故意的？为什么？因为我喜欢你抓着我的手。哼<笑>！小色狼，你听着。你既然已经勾引了我，要是还敢跟那个叫晴晴的小姑娘勾三搭四的，小心我打破醋坛子哦！哼<笑>，我听到有人在骂色狼，就知道是你。你呀、啊，果然在这里。哎，可惜呀、啊，可惜。哎，可惜什么？可惜你痛失良机。痛失良机？嗯。刚才这里姐姐妹妹一大堆，你却先溜了。这么说来，我刚才一走，你就交了桃花运了。嗯，好像是的。哼，我别的不佩服你，啊，最佩服的就是你那吹牛的本事。当然了，还有你那个放屁的本事。<笑>听说，你刚才放了一个全世界最响的屁。哦，响屁人人会放。可是各有巧妙不同哦，什么巧妙？哼，哎哎哎哎，我现在不能告诉你，明天早上你就会知道了。哎，这，哎，我怎么多了只手，也变成三只手了？哼，难道？我也染上你的毛病了，<笑>你醉了，谁说我醉了？<笑>哎，妈的，你这个凳子怎么只有三只脚？嗯，难道想谋财害命啊？<笑>说不定这是个黑店
，早已经看出来你是一个装穷的大财主喽。有道理。不过，这次他们看走眼了，我身上别的没有啊，当票倒有好几张。哼哼。哎，你不能睡在这里啊！谁说不能睡这里、啊？哎，大爷，大爷，你醒醒啊！哎，大爷，掌柜的啊！嗯，这个时候，我本该以面对家人的。可是喝酒，很快就会醉的哦。我本来就想喝醉的，越醉越好。你不怕我欺负你？我就是来让你欺负的，随便怎么欺负我都行啊。<笑>为什么？我的名字叫平平，晴晴是我姐姐，而你。对我姐姐有救命之恩，她没有银子给你，所以我姐姐她才叫我来抵恕的。我们姐妹虽穷，却从不欠别人的债。嗯、你回去吧，回去告诉你姐姐。你不要我。<笑>你不是银子。你的朋友可真不规矩，为什么拼命摸我的脚呢？<笑>我只管你的手，脚是他的，我管不着。你这个人，倒真会捡便宜。嗨<笑><笑>，看来啊，你是真的在走桃花运了，而且啊，是一种很特别的桃花运。<笑>是哪一种？要命的那种啊！嗨<笑>。一个人啊，要是交上了这种桃花运啊，不出半个月就要送命的。哼，你很了解我。我也知道，你并不是来要银子的，对不对？哦，这些花好香啊！怎么样，你要不要闻闻看呢？好花都多刺，这花有刺吗？嗯、这世上哪有多刺的茉莉花？是谁要你这么做的？本来我是不该告诉你的，可是。
请进。原来他要杀的人不是我，而是晴晴。笑果然是天下无双，只可惜你还是没避开我这一剑。阁下剑法之快，纵然也是天下无双。哼，只可惜，你既然不能避开我这一剑，我第二剑就必能要你的命。不错，我既已受伤，自然就无法避开你的剑。可是你的第二剑是否刺得出来？哼，我杀人从来不会手软的。江湖中有句话，很多人都知道，你难道没有听说过？什么话？李笑销魂香，悄悄断人肠。销魂香，不错。刚才你既然已经中了我的销魂香，哼，如果你还不求我救你，一个时辰之内就毒发无救了。哼，我不杀你，你给我解药。嗯，好。你等我走了之后。就开始从一数起，等数到一千时再离开，我就会把解药放在前面你第一眼看到的树下。据说李将军从来不失信于人，却不知是真是假。哼，无论是真是假，你很快就会知道了。用不着得意，今天你虽然又逃了一次，但是要杀你的机会还多得很。姓李的，现在我要看看你还能使什么战。你又何必一定要他死呢？你怎么会来的？你来了，我怎么能不来呀、啊？你知道他是谁？为什么要杀我？我什么都不知道，我只知道，如果再不赶快把你的伤口包扎起来，也许你真的要死了。老要盯着我，哼！你可以盯我，我就不可以盯你啊！哼！如果你认为我一定知道要杀你的是谁，想从我身上把他给盯出来，你就错了。哼！哎，一个人难免会做错事情，就算错了，那有什么关系呢？嗯。老伯伯，你早！哎，早！哎哎哎哎！对不起啊，呃、哦，没关系，没关系。哎，嘿、哎，真是对不起啊。
。现在我只希望一件事情。希望什么事啊？我只希望现在能够变成一只兔子。兔子，哎、啊，你有没有发现这个人有个很特别的地方？有什么特别啊？<笑>到了这种时候，他居然还有心情说笑话，而且话还特别多。哈！呀！呀！哈他们人呢？哎，来了来了！哎，我们做生意啊，一向讲求赢货两气。那货已经带来了。嗯，好，这是十万两银票。老太婆，我们走吧。好。哎，想不到我这个人倒蛮值钱的嘛。哎，我可是把人交给你们了，要是你们看不牢，让他给跑了，我可是概不负责。走吧。嗯你的穴道是什么时候解开的？哦，我只不过学会了一点一穴过位的功夫而已。上觉得这是件好玩的事，我敢保证，你很快就会觉得不好玩了。啊！啊！哎，我实在想不通。像你们这么漂亮的小姑娘们，为什么一定要把自己弄得像葱油鸡一样呢？干<笑>你什么事啊？你少放屁！放屁！<笑>哎，如果有人放屁，那个人绝对不会是我，因为我从来不会放屁的。嗯，一个大男人怎么可以骗小姑娘呢？你明明比谁都会放屁，怎么能说不会呢？快走！哎，将来如果我娶了老婆，只要她身上有一点点油，我就用大板子打她屁股。嗯，的确有个人该打屁股。刚才你就有好几次机会能把他们制住，嗯、可是你却像瞎子一样看不见。哎，你怎么不用脑筋去想一想？像我这种有身份地位的人，怎么可以随便去抓女人大腿呢？嗯，你把他们都放走了，你还有什么法子能找出害你的人？哼，我虽然找不出，但却有人找得出。谁？他。嗯，你说的是他？嗯，不错，老马仕途，无论你把他留在什么地方，他都有法子找到回家的路。你跟他回家，难道是想拜访他的马爸爸、马妈妈？哎，你在笑什么？笑我自己。哼，我倒看不出你有什么好笑的。
笑我自己是个呆子。哟，怎么，你怎么忽然变得这么样谦虚起来了？我要不是呆子，又为什么要跟在一匹马的屁股后面走呢？嗯，那是因为我要找到这匹马的主人。你怎么知道这马的主人就是那个要害你的人呢？我也不知道，所以才要碰碰运气啊。哼，我要走了。我可不愿意陪着一匹马，一个呆子到处乱逛。等你真的被人害死的时候，不要忘记通知我一声，我一定会赶去替你烧香的。哼！哼！哎，如果我真的死了，我又怎么去通知你呢？就猜到这种结果。周县官，你这个畜生回来了。看来一个人若是跟着马走，是不会有什么结果的。客官，哎，你是来挑马的，还是来买驴的呀？哈、哦，我只不过是来打听一下，那匹马以前的买主是谁。哎呀，我们一天不知道要卖出多少匹马呀。马夫啊，哎哎哎。哎哎莫名其妙，神经病的。想不到这里居然还有人做法事。我们正在超度你的亡魂。哦，我还没有死，哪来的亡魂呢？现在你虽然没有死，可是已经快死了。
究竟是谁在暗中指使他们来杀我的？我八成已经迷路了。这条路究竟是通到哪里去呢？这里又是什么地方？谁呀、啊？啊，哎，在下迷了路，呃，不知道是否可以在这里借住一宿。啊，请进。知不知道？也许啊，就因为我刚才喝了点酒，我才有胆子去开门啊。否则，这深更半夜的，我怎么肯随随便便就放个陌生人进来？哎，我这里啊，虽然没什么值钱的东西，怕人来抢，但是呢，我有一个漂亮的女儿。李笑，你想要看是吗？那我就让你看个够。你的药很灵，只可惜，哼，我的鼻子不灵。
你是不是一发觉那人口有意时，就闭住了你的呼吸呢？哈，也许我什么也没有发觉，只不过我的运气特别好。啊、哦，是吗？其实我知道你近来的运气并不很好。哦。你还知道什么？能不能告诉我？如果说我不告诉你，你会把我怎么样呢？嗯、你想要分离我？你不要忘了，我是四郎呢。那好啊，我就让你飞离一次。你不怕？我又有什么法子呢？你如果想飞离我，现在正是时候。婉儿，你到底是谁啊？你站在那儿干什么？我什么都不想干，他飞离你也好，你被他飞离也好。那跟我一点关系都没有。那么，你就快点走啊！我也不想走。你们做你们的，我难道在这里看一看都不行？哥哥，你怎么还不过来帮我的忙啊？哼，你可真不要脸啊！你不怕别人听了恶心？不要脸的是你还是我？你为什么一定要我的李哥哥非礼你、啊？有一个能回，你猜，回来的是谁？哈、啊，婉儿。哎，他到哪里去了？哎，你问这干什么？是不是还想非礼他呢？你真以为我是那种人呐、啊？哼，难道你还是个好人呢、啊？若不是我及时赶到，你们一个非礼来，一个非礼去。这里只怕早被你们非礼的一塌糊涂了。哎，你知不知道我最常用的兵器是什么？不知道。嗯，是菜碗。嗯，菜碗。嗯，如果不是用菜碗的话，那怎么能够接得住你打翻了的一坛醋呢？好啊！<笑>你敢取笑我？嗯。<笑><笑>为什么要这么信任他？上官婉儿根本就没有做过一件值得我完全信任的事
召集有请李将军，请。知道，他们的剑不会刺瞎你的双眼。我只知道他们都是高手，下手自有分寸的。你知不知道这是什么地方？不知道。那，你怎么会来的？哦，就这样糊里糊涂来了。你知不知道我是谁？嗯，不知道。我是金太夫人的女儿。这里是万福万寿园的所属之地。哦，那你认不认得上官婉儿？知不知道那些要杀我的人是谁？我只知道，近三十年来，没有人敢随便闯入这里，无论是谁，随便闯入的。只有死路一条。你虽然不是什么好人，但我却不想杀你。我还知道你常喜欢跟别人说两个字。哪两个字？再见。我想他是绝不敢再来见我了。只要我能再见到他，一定要揪住他头发，问个清楚，问他为什么要这样害人。你若能在附近八百里地找到比这儿更凉快的地方，我就佩服你。找不到，嗯，找不到。你若猜得出这个水盆是从什么地方弄来的，我也佩服你。我根本都不想猜。嗯嗯、为什么呀、嗯？因为啊，你做的事情，谁也料不到，哼，谁也猜不着。你知不知道，这是谁的主意？哼，当然是那个一心想要我命的人。你不怪我？我怎么舍得怪你？其实，我也是上了他的当，才会叫你去的。因为他告诉我，要在那里等你。你认识他？你既然知道他是谁，为什么不告诉我呢？我现在我只想逃走，你肯不肯陪我一起逃？逃到哪里？随便什么地方。现在我什么都不想，只想跟你在一起。
情仅仅的过一辈子。我一定会永远陪你的。走，我们吃鱼翅去。只要身上的钱带的够多，我可以把牡丹楼的鱼翅全部吃光。嗯。我要出去一下。你要到哪儿去？女为悦己者容，这句话你懂不懂？<笑>所以现在我要去换件衣服。哎，客官，鱼翅来了。您慢用啊！滚出去！我在这里好好的等人，为什么要出去？因为，我叫你出去。如果我偏不出去呢？哼！你想喝酒吗？想不到你在这里还有朋友。他们不是我的朋友，我以前没有见过他们，以后再也不想见到。这么说，你们是来找麻烦的喽？不是。哼，那你们还站在那里干什么？
，我这身衣服好不好看？你喜不喜欢？喜欢，我真他妈的喜欢的要命。你在生气啊？哼！你不喜欢，我脱下来就是了吗？如果我告诉你，你是我的第一个男人，也是最后一个，你信不信？我信。那么你为什么总是要怀疑我，认为我不会回来呢？我没有怀疑你，我只是有点紧张。紧张什么？如果你真的不回来了。我简直就不知道应该到什么地方去找你，而且我更希望你能明白一件事。你说呀。我唯一觉得快乐的时候，就是跟你在一起的时候。你若真的想让我活得快乐些，就永远不要离开我。我怎么舍得离开你？我死也不会离开你的该走了，娘。我有一件事，一直不明白。什么事？我们为什么一定要杀他呢？无论谁沾上了我们的一滴血，都必遭天诛，万劫不复。这是本教经典上记载的规矩。可是爹并不是死在了他的手下的。他若不打败你爹，你爹怎么会死的？娘，你心里的痛苦和仇恨已经太深了。你为什么不想一想？若不是爹逼着李笑跟他比武，又怎么会办？住口！不管怎么说，他身上已经沾满了我们的血。娘，你可以打我，可以骂我，但是你为什么要我去杀一个跟我完全没有仇恨的人？这是长老会开会时候决定的。婉儿，你必须要牢牢的记住，我虽是圣教的护法人，却也无权更改经典上的规矩。你若做出有违教规的事，也同样必遭天诛，到时候谁也救不了你，连我也不能。想吃鱼翅啊！啊！哎，这么晚了，你叫我到哪里去买鱼翅吗？我不管，只要你敢不把鱼翅买回来，小心你的耳朵变成马有耳丝。婉儿。
，两情若是久长时，又岂在朝朝暮暮？他一定很快就会回来的，这绝不会是真的。我一定可以等到他回来，一定可以那些甜言蜜语、山盟海誓，难道说，只不过是要我留下一段永难忘怀的痛苦？你为什么要这么做？为什么要骗我？婉儿。难道你也像水中的月亮，根本没有存在过？不许回他，否则永远休想找到他。你是谁？我是唯一能帮助你找到他的人。你知道他在哪里？只有我知道。这世上有一家很神秘的人。有人说他们是从天涯来的，也有人说他们是从海角来的。其实，世上根本没有人知道他们是从哪里来的。你说的是那家姓麻的人。不错。你既然知道有这家人，想必也知道他们住在什么地方。嗯。古老相传，他们住在一个神秘的山洞里，但却从没有人见过他们，也没有人敢去找过。有人找过，但却从来没有人回来过。难道他们跟上官婉儿有什么关系吗？你只要找到他们的神坛，就可以知道所有的秘密，也就能找到他们那绝不是什么见鬼的魔力。为什么？因为天底下绝没有任何妖魔鬼怪能降得住你。哦，你这种迷迷糊糊、服服帖帖的样子，只为了一件事。什么事？你他妈的真的爱上那个小妖精了？你知不知道，你这么一去，很可能就回不来了。我，我想我会回来的。哎，他真的值得你这么去做？嗯
我不管他值不值得，我一定要这么做的。替我告诉朋友们，我一定会回来的。李笑，你若是萧俊，你能不能眼看着李笑就这样走上一条绝路晴晴，啊，好久不见了，没想到在这里见到你。你是谁呀？为什么要拦住我的路？你，啊，你怎么不认得我了？我根本就没有见过你，快让开！哎，你从哪里来？最好还是赶快回到哪里去。哦，哼，为什么我一定要回去？因为这个地方本不是凡人该来的地方。如果我不想回去呢？相信这个人，绝对不是无意之间闯进我们这里的，所以要把他带回去，问他的来意。不错那圣坛究竟在哪里？要用什么法子才能进去？
到经典上所记载的规矩，这些个规矩你还记不记得？记得。无论谁，只要被选中为圣女，就得终身的为我们宗教和家族牺牲，既不能再有凡人的生活，更不能再有他人的感情，是不是这样的？是的。你既然已经知道。李孝是我们的必杀之人，又熟知经典上的规矩，那为什么要与他有私情呢？对呀、啊，对呀、啊，对呀、啊。我们知道为什么？因为伙伴是贼，对，好多的贼，把他贼给杀掉，要别惹他事。对呀，那个名字宣传他，而且我们从来没有人犯过这么严重的错误。我们这样做，绝对不能犯。以前有，对，我可以这样做。行。上官婉儿，她罪犯天条，该受什么刑？谢谢。你已不再圣洁，已不再是圣女。你要用你自己的血洗清你自己的罪。行起。退下。刚才点住你穴道的，是不是他？是他。你
失去了丈夫，是不是还会失去这唯一的女儿呢？这是一种最好的解脱。你为什么要这样做？你为什么这么傻你知不知道，一个人若一觉得活得很无趣，就不会再有求生的勇气。婉儿，我虽已不再是圣女，但是我仍然有权选择谁来继承我。是不是？是的。现在我已决定，要这孩子作为我们的圣女，所以，她也是圣父。无论谁伤害了圣父，都该遭到万劫不复。你怎么知道你肚子里的孩子是男是女啊？我不知道，现在谁也不知道，所以。所以我们虽然不能制裁你，却还是可以杀他。因为你的孩子未必是女的。假如是女的呢？
你的确很聪明，所以能找出金点上的弱点，用我们的矛来攻我们的盾。我本来也不想这样做的，只可惜，我实在找不出别的法子。哼，这个法子的确巧妙，只不过十个月后我们也许还能制裁你，也还是能够杀了他。全部退一下，娘，谢谢娘。你不用谢我了，我这样做是因为你是我的女儿。你该走了。你说什么？要走，我们就一起走，否则就一起留在这里。你愿意陪着我一起留在这里？当然，你以为我还能离开你？你怎么又哭了？难道还不相信我？我相信你，只不过你是必须要走，而我却必须要留在这里。为什么？难道这也是你们经典中的规矩吗？我们的祖先会住到这种地方来，只不过因为他们经历过太多的折磨跟打击，已经变得愤世嫉俗、古怪孤僻。所以，我一定要留下来，要尽我的力量去告诉他们，外面的世界并不如他们想象中那么残酷。可是，这天要等到什么时候才会来到呢？快乐，我可以保证，你一定可以看到这一天的。我真不明白，你为什么一定要逼他走呢？因为我知道，这世上除了我之外，还有许许多多需要他帮助的人在等着他。我若将他留在这里，那么……也就只有我一个人快乐。我若让他走，也许就会有一千个、一万个人觉得快乐。一个人快乐，总不如一千个、一万个人快乐的好，是吗？婉儿，我以前从没有见过你这样的女人，今后只怕永远再也不会见到了。但你却一定会永远、永远的想着我，是不是？这就够了。两情若是久长时，又岂在朝朝暮暮呢？为了我，为了我们的孩子，你一定要好好的活下去，让我以后还能看见你。我会的。哎，老叔叔。你真的就这样走了？我已来过，活过，爱过。